guys, welcome to this episode of The Boys of Outspoken. Uh, today we're going to review the first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, Season 9. Uh, we had the pleasure of catching it this past Friday at Mickey's WeHo. Uh, Valentina was the host. Start uh, picture. What did everybody think? Let's, let's start with like the opening looks. Yes. Who was your favorite intro? Well, for me, it has to be Nina Bonita Brown, because that's my favorite now. Nina Bonita Brown is my favorite now. I hope she right. will be my top She's three. She's our girl. So she did have the most personality, so I will say for the intro, she yeah. was my fave, because I felt like it was different. And she gave a lot of energy in that yeah. little kick like, to the side. Yeah. And, I don't know what, and those hips. Yeah. Was, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I did think, you know, her body is too exaggerated for me. I was kind of attacking Nina. That body is stupid as fuck. But in a good way. In a good way. Oh my god. It works. It's stupid yes. in a good way. Stupid my favorite. I like the way yeah. she came in. She gave something different. She went in, with, like you said, with a lot of energy. And she mm. also had a little routine to go mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like Valentina. Of course, our girl. Yeah. Always gorgeous. Just looks gorgeous, no matter what. She came with her Hi. little it's cheeky. Valentina. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now you know he's been practicing that all oh, the yeah. In the mirror. Yeah. Like you guys, I live for Nina Bonina. And also, <laughs> I, I just have this love for Aja right now. Of I don't course. know if it's just because we met her. No. Like, I really do. There's something about her. Like, I like her style of drag, but also uh, like her character. I like her, her as a vibe. person. Yeah, I like, vibe. Yeah. She's real chill. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think we would definitely kiki with her. She's mm -hmm. like a cool girl. She gets it. Yeah. She needs a little polish. She's a little she young. Knows, but she knows. Oh, yeah, I don't she think, knows. yeah. She put on Instagram. She's like, I know my makeup wasn't best this episode, mm -hmm. but I improved and I'm going to be redoing my looks. And so she you know, uploaded a new look of that same, you know, costume, but with a better makeup. And yeah. She has improved, so. A lot of it, that's all it really is with some of these queens, girl. It's the talent is there, but they just need a budget, girl. Yeah. And hey, we 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 know firsthand what it's like to need a budget, girl. <laughs> so I ain't mad at you. And I also feel like, you know, with anybody's career, when you see yourself at a different platform, like, of course you change and you evolve. And you learn from other queens or other people, and you mix and match that mm -hmm. to... You know, because even RuPaul didn't look like RuPaul today. Girl, right. <laughs> no shade, mother. No, that, no, no shade. <laughs> yes. What did you guys think of their home look that they did, representing where they come from? Valentina took it for me. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. 100%. Well, I know, but she did. The judges even said that she did. I know, she did. It's, it's, hard. Hard. Listen, it's only because, yes. hold up. You love her. As a Mexican-American, okay. like, that, it, it did do something for me. It yeah. moved me. And especially, yes. like, during the commercial break, she wanted, she told us she wanted to bring a successful, glamorous, Latina, mm -hmm. like she wanted to have that aura about her, and I yes. love that. And the sombrero with the high heel boot, girl, she gave it to me. Yeah. No, I'm not good. saying she didn't. You know, and as a person who's an LA native and who loves the Mexican, Mexican culture a mm -hmm. ton, I'm, 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 uh, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Mexican by insemination. <laughs> by insemination. By insemination, I am a quarter Mexican. But you weren't feeling it, or no? I, no, I was feeling it. I was feeling it. I love the fact that she is so pro East Los because mm -hmm. that's what she said. She's from East Los mm -hmm. right. and all that stuff. I love that. Um, I just don't think it was like California. Well, okay, I can almost understand what you're saying. It was so glamorous to the point that it that it wasn't East LA anymore. Yes, but yes. I still am gonna give it to her just because she delivered like a, a signature like Mexican, uh -huh. you know, a, a Mexicana look. Yes, you know, like, Cali yes. person, like mm -hmm. high fashion. Welcome to LA fashion. Right, East LA look. <laughs> and Donna okay. did like her. Uh, did like her the best, right? The best. Yeah, mm -hmm. I actually liked Eureka's look. I think the big cigarette big. and stuff in her hair. I did too. I, I love a good. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe it didn't resonate with me. Yeah, I, I forgot, forgot about it. Yeah. And I'm from the country, so I've seen many of that at Walmart. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> but even James Mansfield's look, uh, I, that I remember mm -hmm. that more than I remember Eureka's for some reason. I don't. Wait, which oh, the cow one? The cow one. I, I thought that was. That. I thought that was the worst. I thought that was like a Flintstone reference. <laughs> I can't right now. Yeah, I, I didn't say it was good. <laughs> I just said I remembered it. Like <laughs> the Vegas looks for me were just kind of okay. eh. one note. It wasn't that. I was like, yeah. and all the girls who did the Statue of Liberty. Sorry, I love you, Aja and yeah. Peppermint, but those were not the most inspired. You know, right. yeah. Sasha definitely did. killed it a lot more with the New York look yes. and yeah. like representing Alexis Michelle. I thought that was kind. Kind of uh, a fail, just a little bit of a fail. It just seemed like kind of last minute. Yeah. As far as like the. Oh yeah, Black Lives Matter. Matter, Matter like that could have been that. executed way better. Yeah, it looked yeah. like a swimsuit with some black marker on it. It wasn't the best. But mm -hmm. I do, you know, appreciate the message for sure. Oh yeah, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, no yeah, shade. I think she. I hear that she's very activisty too. I hear mm -hmm. behind the scenes. So. Activisty. 
Well, like maybe that too. I don't know. Thirty <laughs> dog go Gaga for Gaga. Girls. I mean, that's a pretty big opening to get Lady Gaga for your show. Yeah. I mean, all those queens were yeah. losing their minds. Yes, and it had so much reverence for her. You know, oh like, yeah. So much reverence. The the thing that I thought was cool with uh, Lady Gaga was how she because she has so many iconic looks. You know, yeah. from red carpets, from every event that she's gone to, and even her music videos. Some of the queens really, really came through with their with their Gaga outfits. Like obviously yeah. Nina Bonina to me, <laughs> yeah. I really liked it. I did. It's why she won. It's why she won it, and uh, and she also gave you a different silhouette than what Gaga yes, gave, yeah, gives yeah. gives you. It but it you stayed one. authentic yeah. to what it was. She put her yeah. own little stamp on it. Yeah. Her and then uh, Sasha Velour slayed it too. I loved the applause look that she. Did. I did like that yeah. too. Yeah. A lot of their Gaga looks were pretty yeah, good. Yeah, really for the most part, they did pretty good with their Gaga look, except for uh, James Mansfield. Girl, you leave her alone. I'm I sorry, know. girl. Like, okay, like she she's I cute. Know. I just uh, I like know. I have nothing against. We have nothing against. I have nothing against you, Miss Mansfield. You're just not delivering right now, girl. You are in a you are in a competition with. I don't know. You might change. This is barely the first episode, but she's not shining at all right now. I feel like she was holding back with her personality. She, her Gaga look just seemed a little messy and sloppy. Yeah. You are being a mean girl. No, I'm no, not. I swear. No. She's a candy look, queen. I, I like that when they did the, their home states. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that cow outfit. You know what I mean? It was okay. utterly delicious. Yeah. That was okay. The 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 Gaga one was not okay in my book. No, we went to Mickey's because uh -huh. Valentina was hosting the party for the viewing. Yeah. And it, during the commercials, he said they only had two days. Like they emailed two days before they were leaving for the show to get oh. the looks, mm -hmm. which I thought was interesting. The Lady Gaga looks. So I mean, uh -huh. the fact that they pulled all those looks within two days before the, you know they had to actually pull them off and right. bring them. I applaud. Yeah, I, I applaud. applaud. Yeah. yeah, like they okay. they all did pretty good. Except, yeah, for except a few, but we'll get to that. <laughs> Who are the few to you that really didn't pull it off? Well, like you said, James. Yeah. You know, without getting into detail, um, I would have liked if Farah did have something. Yeah. You know, need, but it was revealed later. She did. She, she should have. Because you, think, you mm. do see her like almost want to do it, and then she like psychs herself out. Yeah. It's like you gotta go with your gut, bro. And if you see all these other queens, you know. It is Lady Gaga, but it's a little of their, of their own rendition. Then you could have felt like you should have felt like you could have done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I had to pick the bottom two as far as the Gaga looks, uh -huh. I would have to say James Mansfield and Peppermint Girl. I, Peppermint didn't do it for me. Yeah. As far as the Gaga looks, like oh, even even Eureka, even Eureka, like for oh, me. Oh, I, I liked Eureka. Eureka. I thought she that was one of the best ones. ones. Yeah. I, thought, I thought she had one of the best was, ones. I would say Peppermint for me. Mm -hmm. She just isn't. Giving me what I'm used to seeing from her YouTube videos and things. Mm, okay. She isn't giving that to me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Shea kool could have also, like you said, done more. I am starting to lose faith in Shea kool she, uh, she was girl, only the first episode. I know. But, I know. Yeah, but, but she yeah. was like your pick to win, I think, at the she beginning. Was, your pick was, to win. She was. I don't think she did horrible. I didn't think she did horrible. Yeah. I'm going to say, like, she disappointed me. It's like, right. it's like when you... It's like when you get like a fine guy in the bedroom and then he pulls it out and it's like this big. Mm -hmm. It's like, eh, so like yeah. you, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure she does have a big, but it was a little problems the, for, for the first episode for me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for me, yeah. But I kind of think she can redeem herself. It's barely the first right. episode. Uh -huh. Can we talk about Trinity Taylor's look? Actually, I was kind of pleasantly surprised. I know we read you in the past, girl, and you may have, may have, or may have not made a post. Referencing us for the time, I actually kind of mm -hmm. was pleasantly Her surprised. Her with Trinity. Yeah, yeah, it was it was decent. It was yeah. decent, and yeah, it, she does have body. Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. you know, when she said, "I'm the body girl," and then and Kamora then walked in, yeah, and you could see her face like. Oh. <laughs> What'd you guys think of Kamora's uh, Gaga look? It, it didn't blow me away. It wasn't no, terrible. Maybe I mean, it was something she would have wore, but it wasn't something that she wore. You know, it I wasn't an iconic. More similar to something. Mm, right, like right. It feels like something that she found on the strip. Like, yeah. just walking, I was like, oh. And <laughs> even like her and Pheromone's Vegas look, I feel like. Yeah, really that's Vegas. not Vegas. We need the big All bowl of yeah. no, I'm like, bitch, that's not Vegas. Vegas. For some reason, I, I Farrah and uh, Kamora kind of disappointed me. They came across as really personality and yeah. look and beforehand. Yeah. And then this episode, they both kind of mm, were there. And, you I know? Like, and I like Kamora Black a lot. But yeah. that Vegas look, first of all, 
Vegas isn't dark feathers and ostrich feathers and stuff like that. Vegas is just sparkles and glitter and everything big. Cut those sleeves, cut those legs, yes. pull the fucking tummy. Yes. Right. I want right. to see a right. fucking belly button. Right. Oh. I want to see her balls and her chest. Oh, right. Right. Like, I want to see everything just come up. You want to see her balls and her cheekbones. Uh, oh, yes. well, we'll get to that oh, later. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. God. What did you guys think of Charlie Hyde's about that look? See, I thought he did really well, actually. I felt like it looked a lot like, and the hair even, which is hard to pull off. Oh, yes, yeah. particularly he, that look. Yeah, he's, yeah. Oh, he's done a more Gaga, like, Gaga yeah. impression, right. so he, he knew what it could be. And because of that, that's why I wanted more. I, I, I think it was good, but knowing his history with yeah. Gaga, you it could have been, Do yeah, no. I, I agree with that. You know, maybe he couldn't technically get all that ready in two days, because, you know, he's from overseas. Is it because stuff. he's an older queen, you feel like? Or he's more seasoned that you feel like he should have brought more? Yeah, you know, I mean, because you know so much about drag and stuff, you should have been able to deliver. And not just, well, I think these queens, I, I, all of them have kind of proven like the whole age ain't nothing but a number thing, girl. Especially with drag, because you have these new queens that are coming in the game. No disrespect to the ones who are, who are you know, older mm -hmm. and have been in the game for a while, but like... Take a look at Valentina, girl. Yes. That is, like, apparently she's only been doing this for like a year, girl. Yeah. And she's slaying. Like, yeah. when you're good, you're good. It right. doesn't matter yeah. how yeah. old you are. Well, like every season, there's a feud brewing mm -hmm. between Eureka and Where's Trinity the Taylor. Girls? The two pageant girls. It's all, the pageant girls are shady. I love the pageant feud. Yeah. But it's always the pageant feud. Yeah. I don't uh, know. What is it? The side words Coco. and Coco. Yeah. Pageantry, like in especially like in the south, that's huge. Mm -hmm. When you get like those crowns, they do really mean something. And you have this prestige about you if you do win first. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I could see why Eureka could come in a little salty because yeah. you know mm -hmm. Trinity's always been first. Uh -huh. yeah, but that wasn't this episode. Mm -hmm. But so <laughs> I'm kind of but it makes for good TV. I, I actually good. really like Eureka. I think she's funny. I liked her uh, emotional moment that she had yeah. with Gaga because yeah, yeah. I felt like it was pretty real. Just came waterworks right away. But she, I feel like she is getting a lot of. Like I'm lying to saying that she kind of bullied a little bit. Like she was a little too much. She was a little extra shady. Well, she, she is was a little extra shady. She's Eureka O'Hara, so you know you how she's oh, trying to well. overcompensate. You know, because these are like you know smaller girls, and you know that feel like it's always an issue with that kind of big girl. They try to overdo it. That's the vibe that I got yeah. from it, honestly. Yeah, and, and to me, it, personally, uh -huh. it doesn't come across like. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it doesn't translate well to me. Like mm -hmm. I, I kind of comes across as bitchy. Comes mm -hmm. across as envious of the other queens. Yeah. But like, I even even towards Trinity. Why do you need to be Eureka? Don't do that. They're queens. They're gonna be shady. And yeah, shady yeah. But it was so much have issue with her and Trinity. It was more like more the way she came at James. Yeah. And like mm -hmm. singled him well, out. Well, that was even a little like, bit. Yeah. Um, Charlie Hyde's like. If he really was their concern, I feel like you should always bring him to the side and not call him out. In front of everyone anyone. like that. Because, yeah, maybe he is the newer queen and maybe he should be the first one to go. But it is something about being called out in front of everyone. Is she the newer queen? Feel like she's, the mo she's not the most polished and they have every reason to be like, you shouldn't be here because you're not bringing a polished mm -hmm. look. That's not a reason to. They wait so long to get on the show. I feel like it's more than reason. Like, I would be a little upset if someone comes and that they're not as polished. Like, she better go yeah. home before me. I know that for sure. Yeah. So I do get the reason, but there's a way to go about it. Yeah. And I think Eureka did come across a bully, and that's why she was apologizing online. Early Heights kind of came across when she was addressing the, the issue with mm -hmm. James Mansell, in my opinion. It that. came across a little more concerned. Like, she had this attitude, like, girl, you win this competition, you're here for a reason. Step up your game. Right. Bring us some personality. And I think mm -hmm. that's what we're missing from James Mansfield. And it just. And I agree, but there's something about, pull me a sign, because don't do it for the... Again, first episode, guess, the first untouched, you know, raw, right. It's like they're all in one room, but I, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I do feel like it's, yeah, it was genuine, but at the same time, it's like almost calling her out. Like, oh, speak up. Especially because you can tell that she's kind of quiet and kind of mm -hmm. meek right now. No, I'm just saying right now in this moment, and it's overwhelming, and you have a little compassion. We love drag, and at, this, at the end of the day, this is what we're doing is like just... Talking about drag, we're not talking about the individual person themselves. Exactly. No. I feel like we call out people who actually do that as far as like who are some parents or you know, way it's just more of about what do you bring into drag and should you be the top? Right. That's mm -hmm. you know, that's what I think she I think she just trying to be on at the right moment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when you're backstage, what's the point of being on? You know what I mean? Well, so it's, 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 it's still, it's, it's still filmed. It's still, yeah. yeah. It's still, it's still a part of the, a part of the package. And, and it goes back to like even Adore Delano, like girl, like you were signing up for this. You fought so hard to get to yeah. this place that you're at right now. Mm -hmm. 
go hard or go home. Like you can't really complain about that. I, I hear you. I say, I say go, I go hard on the challenges. And things. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and we'll yeah, see. Yeah. If it was barely the first episode, James, I'm rooting for you, girl. Come on. Right. Come on. No. Let's talk a little bit Let's about see. the Untucked episode, which if yeah. you guys don't, check it out on YouTube. Go to uh, World of Wonders Wonder. YouTube channel. Ooh. Subscribe to them. Because you will get to see all the untucked. Behind the yes, scenes. Behind the scenes. Nina Bonina mm -hmm. did, she she had like a moment yeah. like where she was, she, and I like that she kind of expressed her vulnerability mm -hmm. and what she was stressed out about. And then was also kind of, she was comforting James Mann. She was comforting. Yeah. totally saw Well, that. yeah, because Sweet. Eureka kind of called her out. That's mm -hmm. what started. It was like, are you, like are you, well, that's. Like, I liked Eureka old. until Untucked, mm -hmm. and then I was like, okay, I was I was dealing with the sassy and the shady until then, and then I was like, all right, wait a minute. Well, it's because the way she called um, uh, James and Nina, like, oh, y'all two would have went home because you're too quiet, and then you know you see Nina oh, kind of yeah. like take a moment, and, like kind of get down, like because she's heard that all her life. She said, you know, like you're not gonna make it, and you know the vulnerability came in when she's like, I'm a 34 year old man living with my mom, yeah. and dad, and I just feel like I'm not getting anywhere, and this is to prove my that. chance. Mm -hmm. I, I believe in my art and to show my parents that this is what I can do, right? Mm -hmm. And so that made me feel like, oh my God, like, I, I get that aspect. Like, mm -hmm. you just wanted to prove to yourself that you can do this and just, you know you can do it to yourself, but it's something about showing someone else, like, look, you see, I can't. Right. Well, yeah, what is up with, oh, is that an O'Hara thing, girl? They prey on another queen's insecurity in order to break them down, to I, think that they're going to one-up them. I feel like it's part of the culture as far as, like, drag was, like, there's yeah. always, like... Initiation, uh, you gotta, you gotta that's develop... What, that's with any competition. But look yeah. what happened to Fifi O'Hara, though. It didn't well, work Well, it backfired. Right her meanness and her kind of poor sportsmanship with the whole thing mm -hmm. showed through. And, and, and those people really don't make it sometimes. Overall, you're, you're like, Eureka is a fucking, she's a talented queen. I do so think she's very talented. Just don't, don't go playing dirty, girl. Nina got a little dirty herself, though, when she asked uh, Kimura about her plastic <gasps> surgery. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that that was, was, yeah, what was that? Okay, first of all, <laughs> No. Really, bitch? No, okay, so like, she, is been, she has been beneath No. Enemies, I know, I was going to play devil's advocate on this one, no. too. No. Wait, hold up, y'all. First of all, <laughs> I do feel like producers probably put that in. Yeah, you know, they, oh, of course. They do course. put their little taste buds in or whatever, like little plant seeds. Mm -hmm. But I, I thought it was hilarious. She's like, wait, I think I lied. I think what? I lied. <laughs> no, Maybe yeah. I did get my lips <laughs> done. How do you not know? <laughs> I she think I remember that. that. She was playing. Oh. And I'm not mad at it, girl. There's so many it's damn queens. It's 2017. Yeah, but look, I mean, I love all the queens, but there's a few pull faces in the bunch. I mean, Kamora should just own up to it. Yes, it could be. I, who are the pull faces? Kamora, obviously, and then Trinity's very open about and Charlie, it. And Charlie. Yeah, Charlie hides a little bit, which Charlie's looks real good. If but she hey, yeah. her body, Charlie hides for 52 years old. Every single look, she was rocking those heels. Mm -hmm. So I give her credit. I give right. her credit where credit is due. So Kamora, if you have had had some work done, uh -huh. girl, it's totally fine. Yeah, and yeah. money's well fine. spent, girl. You look amazing. Right. You look absolutely amazing. Those cheekbones are everything. To give me the number two. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll remember next week. Maybe right, she'll remember exactly. Next week. Yeah. What did you guys think of Lady Gaga's advice for all the queens? It's everything. Like Everything. That's a pretty cool Everything. moment. Having a sit down with Lady Gaga critiquing your art, I think it's got to be a pretty cool experience. And so. then the fact that Lady Gaga kind of sat and talked to them as as artist to artist mm -hmm. versus right. like talking down to them. Right. She didn't do that. And and I'm not. I won't mention any names, but I feel like a lot of these female artists who are out in the game. Uh -huh kind of tend to pander towards our community uh -huh. versus actually really supporting us. Exactly. And I felt like it was very authentic Nicki the way Minaj. that Gaga did mm -hmm. it. Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Jesse J, which is another story we'll oh. have to talk about. Something that Gaga said, she's like, you know, she's like, I am a straight woman, I'm not gay. She's like, but, she's like, I do, feel, she's like, part of the reason that I am the person that I am today, she's like, I was inspired by powerful, strong gay men. Yes. And they encouraged me to live Authentic they made her the woman that she, she, yeah, she, woman that she is today, yeah. and that it made me cry. I love that. I, I, was, I love that. You know I me. I cry that. about everything. I wrong. saw you tear up. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I cry every time with something like that. But no, it was it was an amazing episode. Gaga gave the best fucking advice yeah. to them. Yeah, she did. Good. Very respectful and appreciative yeah. of all the queens, and I think they all really took it to heart and really mm -hmm. appreciated yeah. it. What did you guys think of the top three that were chosen? Do you agree with the judges' picks? So those three, the top three. Of it the was week? Nina, Eureka, and, and Sasha. And, and Sasha. Sasha. 
Uh, I kind of thought Valentina should have been up there. I think Valentina should have. I know, but I think Valentina should have replaced <laughs> Sasha personally. But I do okay. like Sasha okay. a lot. But I think those two I were probably. I agree. Yeah. I, agree I think that. Eureka, I agree that. Valentina, and uh, Nina. and Nina were mm-hmm. the strongest as far as both of their looks, uh-huh. as far as showing enough of their personality to the judges, and right. you know, showing something different. I, I agree with that. I'm a second that that motion. Second that motion. I'm a third. But even though I did like Sasha's look, I just felt like yeah, she would have kept that, like, like I said, kept that little self-portrait, girl, it's not the time. Right. <laughs> you know, Andy You're on the show. <laughs> so, put that Little down. less is more. Because what he had was artsy. It's just, mm-hmm. I felt like that picture of him didn't throw it off. He didn't need it. He was art already. Yeah, yeah, yeah Her look was yeah. art. The, the heart works, you know, the key pairing yeah. heart. This came across a little bit like he was pairing. hiding behind that okay, art, the, the artwork that he was holding. That he yeah. was holding. Mm-hmm. And I think that he, yeah, yeah, Gaga said it perfectly. He didn't need it. He yeah. Didn't need it. Well, who do you think should have been in the bottom three if there would have been a bottom three this week? Or bottom two? Uh, obviously, James Mansfield. Uh, and then I would also put, I'm going to have to put Peppermint in there, girl, for me at least. Yeah. It was not mm-hmm. great to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, wasn't, it wasn't a minty dip for me. Yeah, I mean, we were really excited about Peppermint mm-hmm. actually going into this. And she's another, I feel. Peppermint, uh, Kimura, and uh, Farah had a lot more promise mm-hmm. at yes, first. Yes. In first episode, they, they weren't as memorable. So we'll right. see. They have plenty of opportunities to show us. I don't know if she would necessarily be in the bottom, but I, I kind of felt like that Kimura kind of let me down a little bit. I was yeah. expecting more from her. But like I said, first episode. We'll see what happens. First episode, man. First episode, yes. you know? Kimura, I like Kimura a lot. So I hope she does make it far. Well, luckily for James Mansfield, nobody was eliminated this week. What did you guys you know think of that? <laughs> what, I just say, what did you... James, I love you. I'm glad nobody went home, but I do kind of, I did kind of want to lip sync, you know? It's part yeah, of the yes. thing. It's like, I, I wanted to, they, oh. she should have made them all do it or something, you know? Yeah, I feel like, she, I wish you would have waited to the end to tell them. So right. that way they're going to bring their A game in. Mm-hmm. Let me do this Exactly, extra right, week. yeah. And then be like, no one's going home, you're all safe. I would oh, hope yeah. I wish you would have done that too. You're right. So there's gonna be a mystery guest. Who's coming back? Who's coming back? Who's gonna be the what the uh fifth? Fourteenth. Fourteenth queen? Who's gonna, be, yeah. who's gonna be the fourteenth queen? I feel like I know who it is. I think we all yeah. I think we all Ooh, But we're not gonna say because we don't wanna ruin it for our viewers. Well, the Paul Page Brooks. Uh, if bye. you wanna see it, go off right now. It's gonna be Cynthia yeah. Fontaine. Fontaine. Yeah. I Is mean, it because of her story with her? I think her story, a lot of people did like her. Yeah, and she I had, like her. you know, she had the cancer. She had the cancer. She so, had the cancer. It, I, look, I, I like her personally. I was never a huge fan of her poo poo drag, yeah. but, you know. I, I thought I thought she, she deserves a second chance. I think I guess. she deserves yeah. a chance. You know, can you imagine being in the competition and finding out you have a life threatening yeah. um, element? Of course, yeah. yeah. You know, like, I feel like she, she, she got a bad rap from life, and she needs to go out there and prove herself again. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. I want to see that cuckoo girl. Right. Cuckoo. Give it to me. Yeah. I, I love everybody. I just, you know, and I love Drag Race. I love Drag Race. I'm so critical on it. But um, I wish it could have been just a little bit more from certain people. Mm-hmm. Certain people did give me more. Nina Bonita Brown, for instance, who won the challenge. Was that a shot for To me, not, not that she didn't deserve it. It's just like I didn't think they were actually going to give it to her. Does that make sense? I didn't think so either, just because it was so different. Yeah. And it wasn't really like what we're used to seeing as far as like drag and beauty and right. fishy. It was mm-hmm. like fishy or peach. I love that they loved it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are we rooting for the same people? Did your minds change at all about anybody? My mind my mind did definitely change. Um my top three is gonna be Nina Bonita Brown. Um I'm gonna add Shea Kool-Aid in there. I'm gonna add her in there. That's nice. And um Valentina. <laughs> Valentina. It's nice. <laughs> Aja's always gonna be my girl because I just mm-hmm. I like I think I love yeah. Aja, but yeah, Valentina in the top, Nina Bonina in the top, and I'm gonna just stick with them two for now because okay. they're the ones that have really shined, shined with just the right off the bat. Yeah, right, so I'm right gonna off stick the bat. With them for now. I mean, Valentina and Nina, I definitely mm-hmm. think are gonna be in the top, top three. Aja, I think will go far. Uh, I don't know. It depends on how, if they're going to give her more of the adore treatment and let the kind of unpolished new queen. It just, it all depends on how they do in the challenges. I would love to see Aja in the top three, um, but I think Sasha Valor actually is one to not sleep on. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree. I'm not too sure about like Aja, like how they're going to go for it, but I do love her personality and I want her to stay just based off personality. Yeah, she's yeah. same. Totally. Yeah, the makeup isn't the best, but you know, she may, she's going to grow as a season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Valentina, she's so far so beautiful, so I love a gorgeous queen. 
So I take her for the top as well. Mm -hmm. And for the third, I would have to say Nina. She's something different. She can fucking be her face. And she's just something we haven't seen. And I just feel like I love her aesthetic and mm -hmm. her creation and her imagination. Creativity. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. It's going to be a really good season. These queens are good. There's a lot of really, really talented girls. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So where are we going to watch the show at um, next, next, week. next week? Because we went to Mickey's this week. So who's next? For any of our LA viewers, where do you guys think we should go see it next week? We're going to hop around and try a few different bars yeah. this season. You know, we usually go to Precinct, but we had a great time at Mickey's last week. Um, I know they play it everywhere now, so everywhere. let us know. Where do you guys go and see it if you're in the LA area? Where do you think we should stop by next? All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of The Boys of Outspoken. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also put down in the comment section. Who, you, who your top three is and who you think should go home if somebody was going home on this past episode. Let us know. Let us know. All right, guys. Until next time. Thank you. Usually I don't like hanging out with girls because they annoy me. Yeah. He only sleeps with them. You just gotta wear a strap on. And <laughs> <laughs> well, the Mike Pence mask. <laughs> oh my god! This is the shit! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Rock <laughs> <laughs>